Motorcycles are in high demand with their market value surging. Let's go back outside to our auto expert Ed Blake Eason with a look at the top bikes for this year. Hey, good morning to you, Nikki. Yeah, I told you last segment I was going to take a moment and I was going to get ready to dress for the job that I want. I am <laughs> suited, I am booted, and I'm ready to be recruited. We're going to go big or go home for this one, Mike. What That's is this like one? our new hashtag. I, literally, like, it, it is. It's the best hashtag. Here it is. Ready? It's all great, man. When you have bikes, you have to have the appropriate have hashtag. Have and, and you look amazing now, right? You're ready to ride. All right, so what is this bike right here? This was given to us by Nashville Motors, that new dealer I was telling you about in the previous segment. This is a BMW R18B, which stands for back with these big old boxes back here. They partnered with Marshall, which is a big speaker company, yeah. a Nashville company, right? And this one's an all blacked out version. It starts under $20,000. It's got BMW's boxer motor. It's amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I have one in my garage Ooh. right now. It's awesome. This Love is this beautiful. Bike. That's by Cold Weather, Gore-Tex gloves yep. by Alpine Star. They keep your hands warm. And of course, you had this on between segments. You're I like, mean, hey man, I want this jacket. This, this, is, this is a Revit Cordura jacket. It's awesome. It. It's like, it's very vintage, very vibrant. It matches the vibe of the bike. If this is not your cup of tea. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but we got plenty more down That's the right. way. That's uh, right. Mike, let's talk about this. This is red. This, yeah. this looks like a beast right here. Man, this is the Ducati, and this is their Multistrada V4. I actually owned a Multistrada a few years ago, and it's like, it's it's amazing, right? It's like yeah. a supermodel. You don't take a supermodel camping. You take them to, like, the nicest hotel. Well, that's Ooh. what this bike is. It's Ooh. so amazing. This is their Pikes Peak Edition. It's going to have tons of power. Again, this starts under 20 thousand dollars for a motorcycle that's full soup to nuts performance inspired i love the looks again this one also comes from the folks over at nashville motos uh you got your boots on a lot of performance riders like these these are smaller low profile tight they protect your ankles these yeah. are by alpine star and they're great riding boots about 169 this helmet right here is by Arai. you always want to look for a helmet with a dot department of transportation sticker on the back that means it's approved and of course glove up all the time yeah absolutely i might not know how to drive or ride a motorcycle but I sure enough look like I can, okay, when I'm hanging out with you, Mike. And then this one right here, this looks like um, if I if I pull up to the party in this, it's gonna it's gonna turn some heads. This is amazing, right? So you always think about Harley Davidson as being one of the first motorcycle makers in the US. Indian was actually the first motorcycle wow. maker in the US. I think it goes back to like 1903. So this is the dark horse, this is the challenger dark horse. Dark yeah. horse means it's all blacked out. This thing comes with big old speakers up here on front. It has everything that you want from a bagger standpoint, of course. Of of course, this matte black finish on it. This comes from Music City Indian. Here's what's really cool about this bike is that if you're gonna go cruising around town, plenty of plenty of horsepower, it's a fun bike to ride. If you yeah. wanna go on a long trip, this windshield goes comes up and protects you all the way up. Most expensive bike we have, yeah, $28,999. Wow. Yeah, Dark Horse, pricey. I feel, is fitting for the name of this one. It's beautiful. This feels a little bit more street, like you want to go race somebody. What do you think this is? I mean, I, I, it, it looks like it could do damage. Yeah, it can. So this is actually a Harley Davidson. This is their, ah. this is their uh, Pan America, and this is their first ever entry into the adventure riding market, which okay. is how we're going to close out today's segment. It's all about take, taking a motorcycle on and off-road, which is something we haven't talked oh. about. This bike has electronic riding modes that allow it to be better off-road, better grip, better performance, better throttle response. This one starts just under $18,000. I rode one of these at Sturgis this year. I love what Harley's doing to innovate and get yep. into new categories. This is here. the one. And then, of course, we got to end closest to home. This one right here. You showed up looking like a stormtrooper today. I did. Very much matching the vibe of this bike. Yeah, so I always get asked the question, Mike, what do you personally ride? This is my motorcycle right here. This is a BMW, and this is their R12 50 GS Rally Edition. It's meant for off-roading and on-roading. You can see the big knobby tires on it. I take this thing and I run it hard. It's dirty. It's beat up. But you know what? You got German quality with this. Yep. Heated gloves from Revit. My entire suit is Revit. Okay. So this is my four seasons. It's called the Sand 4, so it's four seasons. I always tell everybody about safety. This is pinnacle. Always gear up so people can see you. Absolutely. And so on that note, many bikes to choose from. Which one would I be able to take home with me today? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm so ready to go that over here as we talk about safety to close it out. By the way, I always have to grab my helmet as well. This is my helmet. So if I'm getting on a motorcycle, you're going to get on that one. I'm going to get on this minute. motorcycle right here. Mike, this is a tiny bike. That's it right there. I'm hoping everybody can still hear me. This is a Grom and this is Honda's number one selling motorcycle in the U.S. Again, as we think about motorcycles, Blake, you haven't ridden. Motorcycle safety foundation. Yes. You got to close it out. Hey, I got to grab this. Hold on before we go, guys. I got to start. I got to show Nikki, this to I you. wanted the big bike, but clearly I have to start.
start somewhere. Unfortunately, it fits. Oh, I got this. I got to put an airbag oh, jacket oh, oh, on. We're going to put him. the airbag jacket on me. So it's got to go. go under. It it's might be go tiny. Under. If I fall, at least I'm protected. Safety is number one. Mike, I hate how much this bike fits me, but you got to start somewhere, right? You got to start somewhere. This is the Grom. This one right here actually is all automatic as well. So you don't have to worry about shifting. I think that's the best part about yeah. it. And again, always helmet up. This is my, my Arai XD helmet. I mean, it looks cool. It's Americana. Yep. It's got carbon fiber camo look. Motorcycle Safety Foundation. Learn how to ride. We'll post it up on the screen. Absolutely. All right, Nikki, you got your pick. Which one are you going to pick? There's plenty out here. Uh, but with Megan Studio, I don't know how long the options are going to be here. Uh, we'll see what's left when the show ends today. We'll send it back to you guys in studio. Blake, it suits you well. It suits you well. I'm not cool enough.